organization is for insects, not artists. Those words were uttered by the next Hall of Fame inductee, Ken Stacy. Ken has written, edited, published, designed, colored, and rented. He's taught drawing, medical illustration, and sequential storytelling. He also makes a mean chili. <laughs> Ken is probably best known as an artist who's collaborated with Harlan Ellison, Dean Water, Douglas Coleman, and his favorite writer, himself. <laughs> Ken is an army brat who loves aircraft, and I think he may be the only Schuster Hall of Fame inductee to have ever worked and have permanent art in the collection of the National War Museum. What I, I was thinking about today about what I would say about Ken, and uh, I've picked a story that I hope will embarrass him somewhat. And uh, <laughs> a number of years ago, Ken, uh, one of his heroes is Alex Toth. Uh, the late great Alex Toth. And Ken had done a story, a Black Hawk story for DC Comics. And full of pride, he wrote Alex a letter and sent him a copy, thanking Alex for his inspiration. Alex wrote back a five page handwritten letter that completely tore the story apart. <laughs> it was a page by page, panel by panel, evisceration of everything that Ken had done. I don't know about you, I might have burned it, maybe I have put it in a vault for posterity. Ken made Xerox copies of it and handed it out to everybody that he knew and said, this is how you do comics. That was a turning point for me and I still have a copy of that Xerox. And it is, he was right, it is a blueprint for making comics. But Ken shared it with the world and I don't think many people would have. Unfortunately, Ken cannot be with us tonight. He's at home in Victoria. But Ken was in Toronto lately, teaching at Max the Month, and meeting with authors like Sharon McKay, with whom he's collaborating with on a project about children of war. Ken was at the recent Fan Expo, and the Schuster Award Committee took the opportunity to present him with his plaque and shoot some footage with the next host, Hardcore Nerdy's John Leader. Here's the footage. Mr. Stacy, congratulations on winning the Joe Schuster Award, the Hall of Fame Award for 2009. It's very beautiful. There you go. Now, you're such a legend uh, in the industry. Uh, looking back, what do you feel are some of your finest achievements? Well, I think more than anything, uh, it's, it's the fact that when I was 11, I decided this is what I was going to do for a living. And I'm delighted to say that I have uh, parents who never tried to dissuade me from what is a very atypical career path for a an Air Force officer's son, and um, they never, you know, I, I just you know, carried on and, and uh, you know, worked hard at it. And I've always happily been able to do the kind of projects that I, I love doing, and um, you know, and to this day, I'm you know, continuing, and it's just it's been a wonderful life. That's terrific. Now, I know most artists consider their, their creations to be like children to them, but if anything sticks out over the last few years, what is it for you? Oh gosh, there have been so many projects. Uh, more than anything, I suppose, my own, uh, my own intellectual property, uh, characters I created, uh, Tempest Fugitive, which was a series that I did to, in many ways, uh, honor my father and all the pilots that he flew with. So it's been a time traveling pilot. So, you know, my pet obsession is aviation. So that was, that was more of this. But uh, more than anything, uh, the projects my wife and I are involved with, uh, currently, uh, we do a lot of entertainment. We've been playing uh, graphic novel and sequential narrative. Um, uh, language to uh, educating uh, young people about Canadian art and culture, the local museums and foundations, and uh, to me that's, that's a wonderful challenge. Well, once again, congratulations on the award, and I'm sure there's a lot more work to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.